Hello, I, I'm Dr. Rick Durst. I teach theology at Golden Gate Baptist Theological Seminary. And this little presentation is a two-parter. The first part is about thinking Christologically uh, from a biblical perspective. Uh, in the Old Testament, we really have two competing views of the Messiah. One of a reigning ruler, the other of a suffering servant. And it doesn't become clear how those two integrate until the incarnation of Jesus Christ. Now, if we take the biblical materials in the New Testament, we have an emerging Christology uh, that we don't want to edit. We want to make sure that we think and operate uh, with both sides of our brain, so to speak, with all the biblical material. What that means is, if we take Paul um, as a Christologian, uh, he wants to talk about the crucifixion and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. You think of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, where he tells about the gospel. Uh, Christ was crucified under Pilate, uh, and on the third day was raised. Paul also talks about, in Thessalonians, um, about Christ's return. Uh, he, in the book of Hebrews, it talks about Christ reigning at the right hand of the Father, and that we are anchored by faith uh, uh, into heaven. And then, certainly, uh, Paul also talks about how time ends, uh, and the books are open. In the book of Revelation, it speaks in uh, chapter 19 and 20 about Christ's judgment and the beam of seat of Christ. Now, that's all looking post-cross, but when you pick up the Gospels, um, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, um, we look pre-cross. Uh, I didn't put it in here, but if you could imagine uh, maybe the dove that flew down at the baptism of Jesus, uh, the Gospel of Mark doesn't have anything about the, uh, the Nativity. It starts with the baptism of Jesus. So his Christology starts from that point and goes through the cross and the resurrection. However, Matthew and Luke both tell um, the Nativity stories. Now John, when he comes to write his Gospel, he does even one better than that. And he talks about um, the Son of God, God the Son, the Word of God from eternity. So if we are really going to think uh, full-orbed from the biblical material, we need to think of the pre-existent Christ, uh, the eternal God the Son, uh, His incarnation, uh, and the nativity stories, baptism, earthly ministry, death, burial, resurrection, um, His ascension to the right hand, where He makes intercession for the saints, uh, His return for us, uh, the millennial reign, and also the final reign for eternity. This is a thoroughgoing uh, Christology, and any one of these epics that we inadvertently or intentionally edit out or forget, our life with Christ will be diminished, and the effectiveness uh, of our ministry to others will also be diminished. We want the full gospel and the full Christ. Thanks so much for listening. Listen to the next video, too.